Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Very excited for today's beer. Uh, it's actually a collaboration between two breweries I quite like, Equilibrium and Finback. Um, I haven't reviewed a Finback beer in a while. Um, they were, uh, I really think they've hit their stride. Um, they were doing some awesome beers, but they were kind of hit or miss at times. And uh, I've had some off camera lately, and they've just been consistently hits. So uh, it was actually brewed at Equilibrium, but it is a collab with the guys at Finback as well. Uh, it's called One Time for Your Mind, Double IPA, 8% ABV. Before anyone makes fun of me, yes, I know it's a Nas reference. Um, <laughs> there's been a couple people, especially on Equilibrium beers, that don't get the reference, but uh, I get this one. Uh, anyway, it is filled. I don't know how you could fill a beer up any more than that one. Wow. Well, yeah, so it's just under, uh, just under a month old. <laughs> Spelling. Um, cause it was filled so much. Yeah. Um, yeah, it looks like a hazy New England style double IPA. It's like that almost burnt orange color, um, darker pineapple juice, uh, tons of bubbles sticking to the side of my dirty glass. I just need to buy some of that, like stuff bars use. I'm sick of it. Apparently, whatever kind of disc detergent I'm buying does not work very well. But anyway, whatever. That's what it looks like. Let's get to the aroma. Like super orange juice. Like very much, like maybe a little bit of skin, but it's very much orange juice specifically. The, the, the juice of the fruit. I get some ripe mango. Has a nice candy quality of these fruits, but like, I mean, it's like, I don't know, 85% just orange, like navel, tangerine, and then a little bit of that mango making up the rest. I'm not getting a lot of other stuff. It smells great. Definitely smells like that juicy thing, but like, it's not the most complex nose I've ever smelled, but who cares? I don't. All I care about really is the taste. Cheers. Not super surprised by the taste. It follows the nose quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, it drinks like hoppy, bitter, pine, or uh, apple juice. Or pineapple, oh, my God. Only beer I've had today. Orange juice. So it smells a lot like, wow. It tastes a lot like it smells. This is why I should edit my videos. Um... There's a little bit of like this earth dankiness there as well, mixed in with what I'm perceiving as that hop bitterness, but it, it's like in addition to orange juice. Um, there's some of that mango that I got in the aroma. I'm not getting as much in the taste as I got in the aroma. I was saying about 15-ish percent in the aroma, but really it's it's um, orange juice, a little bit of zest, but really that juice quality. Um, then a little bit of mango, and then, but more so than the mango is this bitter earthy danky kind of a thing mixed in there as well um great double ipa you know you're drinking a beer but it has that juicy quality not surprising that equilibrium delivered that not surprising that with finback's um uh, input that they're delivering that so not super surprising beer shocker i like this beer right A little bit of creaminess in there. It's good. This is just a solid. If you like juicy, citrusy IPAs, not the old school West Coast citrusy, but like actual orange juice kind of citrus juice, New England IPAs, whatever you want to call them, this is it. This is great. And uh, again, almost a month old. Drinking awesome. I didn't have it super fresh. I know that's the only time I've ever had it, um, but um, drinking great, maybe fresh, it was even better. I don't know, but this beer is crushing it right now at about a month old. So uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Huge winner for me. That's not obvious. Uh, thank you, Equilibrium and Finback, for brewing such a delicious beer. Uh, check me out on Instagram and on Tapped. No hype beer reviews in both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.